Okay, one second. Hello guys. I am doing Vlogmas for the first time ever. And it is December 1st at 8, 12 in the morning. So it's day one of Vlogmas. And I'm gonna try my best to do it like every day. But the main reason I want to do this is to like get back on my like YouTube grind. But like I'm about to go to school, so I'll vlog when I'm out. So I just got out of school. Um, it's 11:30 on the dot, and I think I'm just gonna go home now because I don't really have anything else to do, and it's like kind of crappy out. What the heck? It's kind of like raining. Like, all right. I mean, it's not kind of raining. Like it is raining. So yeah. But I don't really have anything else to do today. And but I'll try and make it interesting. So let's go home. Hey guys, so I am home now. I've been home for a while, but I am about to eat lunch because it's like 120. But we're watching Dancing with the Stars the season or the semifinals. I was about to say finale, but it's not the finale yet. Next week. Um, but I just wanted to show you my outfit for today. So I just wore this Aritzia hoodie and then my camel sweats. And then I wore my Adidas shoes today. But I took them off, obviously. So let me show you what shoes I'm talking about, though. These. My gazelles, like, you know? I love those shoes. Anyways, I'm going to make my lunch right now. All I have to do is heat it up though because it's like leftovers. So come make my lunch with me. So basically what it is is quinoa, edamame, cucumber, or zucchini, I don't know. But it's like like a peanut. There's like a peanut sauce in it. It's really good, honestly. My mom made it, so shout out to her but this is it it's like really dark in my house right now so like this looks really kind of weird and my camera has i don't know if it's in like a wrong setting but it just like makes everything look so white okay that's probably good let's heat this up mmm look at that i just heated it up I'm gonna eat this for lunch now. Oh, Piper. You want some of it, I know. So I'm on my way to pick up my sister um, from school. It's 1.58 and she gets out in 12 minutes, so at 2.10. I don't really have much else planned today. But I definitely am going to do all my homework tonight or like today, whenever, for the weekend because I don't really have that much, honestly. We'll see what the day brings, but yeah, I'm going to go pick up Hayden right now. Stop. <laughs> Say hi. Stop, stop. Oh, she's camera shy. Can you stop? Oh. Let me just show you guys what I got for Black Friday. Um, I got an urban package in the mail right now. But I didn't really like participate in Black Friday much this year because I'm really trying to save money for my future, you know? Okay, so for Black Friday, I think Urban did 40% off, which is like honestly pretty good in my opinion. So I decided to buy some of the things that I've been wanting. Um, Honestly, like it's kind of random stuff, but it was like a $30 order that I placed for four things because I also had a gift card and then 40% off. So I'll give you a haul. Oh. Oh, okay, everything's in here. I was like, it's just these sweatpants that I ordered, but no, it's all connected. Well, we're starting off with the sweats because I know I'm gonna like these. Like the color is kind of random, so I probably won't wear them that much. I mean, I guess I will. But I have these sweats in like three other colors, a black, a gray, and a green. And they're just so comfy, but this is like a corally, like orange color. It looks, it looks really orange on my camera. So that's the first thing. The second, 
we have this like oh like the utility tank so it's kind of like a little bit like overalls like it has like this like you know i thought that was super cute they had a white one but it was sold out and i maybe would have gotten the white but i think it would have been see-through so i got the pink and i'm not like a pink girl really so we'll see but yeah i really love this part about it because it's not just like a tank um this like i don't even know it was just like so cheap so i kind of just got stuff that like not necessarily i've been like wanting wanting but like stuff that's been in my like favorites or my like save for later but this i figure i can wear for like dance and like hip-hop and stuff but also i think i could style this like in a cool way let me try this on it's like a jersey but not you know because it's like it's like almost what you would wear in gym class like low-key weird pretty pretty hey mm. Um, I can't really tell what it looks like on me, but let me show you the full outfit. All the pretty girls in the world. Why do I keep singing that? Like, I wouldn't probably wear this outfit, but it's also, like, kind of weird, but I like it. Okay, my camera is going to die soon. Last thing, I got a headband. This was, like, three bucks, which, like, I'm sure I could get, like, a value pack on Amazon of headbands for like way cheaper, but it's from Urban, so makes sense. I want to try this on, but also I don't know if I look good in headbands, so we're gonna see right now. But I feel like it, they're so cute, low key. Like, are you supposed to like have a little bit of hair out? Like, is this like giving cute? Is this like cute? Or is this like prisoner with a bandana on? You know? Oh wait, I, I look kind of cute. Oh my god! No, yeah, I'll I'll wear this actually for hip hop, like legit, like, cause it's so dancer too. You know, it's like, ooh, she got a see-through jersey. You know? No, actually, it's like not. Wait, this is kind of cute, guys. It like doesn't go together at all, and I just love it. The cute little girliness of the headband with the weird football sports athleticness of the jersey and the camel pants hunter vibes with Uggs. Like, it's just the perfect combination. Let me just try on the rest of the things for you while I'm at it, because... I think I'm gonna like the rest of it anyways. Let's just put on a full orange fit. I only had to wear all orange one time in my life. And I was not in jail, so. Okay, I mean I already have these so I know I'm gonna like them. Cute, that this is like super comfy, like you can adjust that a little. And then these are wide leg. So that's what I really like about them. I hate cuff sweatpants. Hate. But I'm trying on the pink tank. Guys, this is cute. This is cute. I love this. Like, that's just like, I never had anything like that. So that's cute. Um, obviously, not this outfit, guys. Because this is like Dora, maybe? Here's it in the mirror, though. Okay. Good enough. Um, also, here, I'll just show you this with these, not the, okay, why is, like, everything kind of cute with camel? Like, nothing goes with camel, but, like, everything goes with camel. Um, I was in Palm Springs for dance, like, the weekend before Thanksgiving, whatever, and, um, I filmed a like Christmas gift guide, like kind of Christmas wish list thing, like some stuff that either I'm recommending that I got like for Christmas last year or stuff that I just recommend that I use like on an everyday basis, like products that I like or things that I'm putting on my Christmas list or put on my Christmas list this year. So I never posted it and it's like low-key kind of late to post it now. 
um like as its own video but i figure i can just add it into this video and be like day one of vlogmas plus like christmas list gift guide or whatever so when i edit this video tonight i think i'm just gonna add that in there for day one so day one of vlogmas will be probably a little longer than all the other days just because of that but yeah so that'll be after this right now hey guys wait let me set this up so i'm here in palm springs right now we just got here and we're staying in molly's friends molly's fr some someone's condo that they know and it's so nice here but i'm gonna film a video because christmas is coming up and i wanted to do a little christmas list gift guide some things that i'm putting on my list and some things that i already have that i'm just recommending but yeah i'm gonna start with like small things first um this is something i have the sol de janeiro perfume which i feel like is pretty obvious i think a lot of people have this i think i have 68 and i had the one that everyone had like the yellow but i don't like it as much anymore i like the the pink one i think it's 68 i don't know i'll put it right here but that one smells so good also something i think i might ask for is like a valentino perfume because amanda has it and it smells so good i love that one or i might just try and find one that i like so perfume is always a good thing to ask for in my opinion um jewelry this is like a big one for me i can never have enough jewelry i always have to wear earrings like for sure i'm normally wearing like bracelets and rings but since i just got off plane i didn't want to wear any jewelry but my favorite place to get jewelry from is jack maria jewelry i this is actually where these earrings are from and then a lot of my rings are from there i get most of my bracelets from amazon that's like a really good place honestly because they're like cheaper the next thing is um ugg slippers i have the like the taz i don't know if they're tasman or taz whatever but they're like the platform one ones and i wear them all the time like to and from dance obviously but they go with like jeans in my opinion like it's a good way to like dress them down and just like be comfy in the winter but i think they're like still popular this year in my opinion so i feel like that's a good thing to ask for another recommendation a stanley like i jumped on the trend so late but it's honestly so worth it i love my stanley i'll actually show you guys what stanley i have let me get it okay so i have the like alpine color i think and this is the 40 ounce i'm pretty sure but i had to bring this with me because i can't do a convention weekend without it also i don't know if i mentioned that's why i'm here at palm springs for convention for velocity and um the next thing i'm just gonna recommend a bunch of makeup products that i love because i probably am gonna ask for makeup but if you don't know where to start these are some that i use and really like so first we have charlotte tilbury flawless filter i love this because i don't like wearing foundation so i just use that as my foundation if you don't want like super a lot of coverage and you just want something like to wear out that is like my number one thing that i will always put on i just love it um also i recently had to get my winter shade for that because i'm getting pale and i looked so orange whenever i was wearing my summer shade recently the next thing is merit blush i don't i'll like insert a picture but i don't know i feel like i don't know if it's that popular i think it is but they originally sent it to me and i ended up really liking it so i just purchased my second one recently and it's like so perfect i love how you can just apply it like straight on right from the um package but it's yeah it's really nice and it's like a cream blush too so i really like that part about it next is summer friday's lip balm this is a big trend right now obviously or just like everyone's loving it but um it's honestly i just really like i think the brown sugar one i really like but that's like something good for your lips and i don't really know a lot of lip stuff like are hit or miss for me so but that's a good one um next recommendation rare beauty uh the bronzer stick i have used that like for so long and it's literally my favorite product probably bronzer just like 
makes your makeup look so much better and the rare beauty one is really good so if you're looking for a good cream bronzer stick the rare beauty one is really good and then two things from refi the refi primer like the roll-on thing i honestly love it like it makes my makeup look so good in my opinion like it's it like lays a good foundation for my makeup to sit on and then the refi brow gel honestly probably one of my favorite products i don't wear makeup to school but i just like brush out or brush up my brows and then curl my lashes and it just it's so nice to have like a gel and a brush brow brush in one obviously if someone doesn't really know what makeup to get for you i i would just ask for gift cards like to sephora or alta and specifically i like to ask for gift cards for my nails because these are like expensive to get nails so i always ask for like a gift, gift certificate gift certificate to my nail place um makeup like i said and then food and clothing places i always ask for um like an urban really food like i don't really like starbucks that much so i don't like chipotle and baby bop maybe baby bop but i always ask for urban um last year i got i think a lonely ghost thing and then i got a goat certificate too like goat gift certificate that was nice i bought my sambas with that and then moving on i think a staple pair of neutral shoes is really good um mine i have like new balances i wear those a lot honestly i wear mine to work out but those i can wear with jeans as well or sweats so i think that is a, always a good thing to ask for like running shoes if you are into that like any workout shoe really but um shoes that can be worn literally like with anything i think is a really good idea staple pair of jeans is also really important to have in your closet i didn't really have that until recently i got like a pair of jeans from zara for my birthday that i really like but i just always find that jeans fit me weird so finding ones that like really fit you good and that you really like that you can wear with literally anything is always good because jeans are always a good option in my opinion but i like to look at zara a lot for for jeans sometimes urban but those are more expensive but zara yeah that, that's a really good option in my opinion next oh i'm definitely going to be asking for this a good makeup bag because i have to bring like three different bags that i have like all like little bags that all my makeup doesn't fit when i travel like i went to miami this weekend like to visit my friends in college and i had to bring like three different bags like for my skincare and makeup like everything and i just need to find one that like will fit it all i guess so i don't have a recommendation for that and i need to find one myself but that's an idea um next is like hair products like if you need a straightener a curler like the dyson i won't be asking for that but that's a big gift you can put on there um specifically you can do like rollers that's like a big thing my sister has like um crimpers that you just like wear like you you shower with your hair wet and then you put like the crimper in in it and then you just like take them out it's like pretty much rollers but not rollers and it crimps your hair so stuff like that um you can get on amazon a lot of the time but yeah oh this one a good winter coat i didn't get this for christmas but i got it like a few months after christmas last year and i wear it all the time in winter like it's so good it's a black puffer i always recommend going with like a black or a neutral like you're probably not going to wear like a hot pink puffer i okay i'm probably not gonna wear that you guys like you might i don't know what your style is obviously but like i think a black neutral or like or black or neutral really puffer is so good or just winter coat whatever you want to call it um i got mine from lululemon and i think it's a really good coat like a little bit of a splurge but it's a really good coat i know aritzia has some really good ones like the super puff or whatever they're called but next um if you're moving soon if you're moving out i'm moving out next year guys in a year i'll be living on my own with roommates but like apartment things or college dorm things i don't know if that's a good idea to ask for for christmas like i don't know i don't know if that's what people do but i know i'm gonna have to buy so much because like i just need a lot and i haven't lived on my own ever before so i think 
apartment things like I don't even know what I probably won't be asking for that I'll just buy it when the time comes um next is another little thing just like a phone case I got a new phone recently and I was like oh my god I have to get a new phone case like so I just order one off Amazon but if you want one like you really like like wildflower has some good ones that are like cute and trendy I used to have some cases from there but I just got mine off Amazon and it's like a red case so simple cute um next is like some stuff for workouts so a yoga mat like if you want to splurge on a lululemon yoga mat or if you don't want to splurge on a lululemon yoga mat and you want someone to buy it for you for christmas it's a good time to ask for one um like other things for workouts you can ask for like ankle weights or like anything like that um like the stanley for working out um, and then another thing, workout sets, because I love working out and, like, workout, like, sets. I mean, you can just get, like, workout clothes or anything, but I get a lot of mine from Set Active, Aritzia, um, Lululemon, I guess. And then I have a few big things that I'm going to read off, so that's mainly, like, the, I mean, a lot of that stuff is expensive, but I feel like those are decent, average, like, gifts, but these are the big ones. Okay, so last year I got this camera that I'm filming on. It's the G7X Canon, and that was my big gift that I asked for. It was really expensive, and I'm really so thankful that I got it. I literally cried when I got it. Like, I, I was in shock. I did not think I was going to get it, um, but I did, and I'm really just so thankful for my parents for making that happen. But... That if you want that, like that's something to ask for, like a digital camera. Like I don't know, I use this for videos and for pictures. But uh, the first thing I have is the Apple headphones. I I bought these myself one year, but I have the green. Um, but I know these are expensive, so oh, mine just died. That's the sound of them, or or they are dead. But um, I know they're expensive, so that's a really good idea for a big gift. Anyways, and then an Apple Watch. Personally, like, that's not for me as well. I don't really like how it looks on me. Like, I used to have, like, a Fitbit, you know, when I was little. Like, like when I was, like, nine or something. And I really just loved that. But um, looking back, I didn't like how it looked. And I don't really like how Apple Watches look, in my opinion. On me. On me. Uh, on other people, it looks good. Um, something that... I think is also a really good big gift is like a nice purse it doesn't have to even be like a, a luxury purse like designer brand but just a nicer like higher end a little bit more expensive than your regular purse because I think it's always nice to have a bag that you just love that you can carry around um next is like luxury jewelry because jewelry can be cheap but if you want a big gift to ask for then you can ask for like designer brand jewelry I probably won't and then another um really good idea i feel like is concert tickets because if you know you want to go to a concert but a lot of concerts are like 700 dollars to get a good seat like that's a big gift maybe like 500 400 that's a big gift another recommendation that i have this isn't a big gift this is literally seven dollars but since i always do my hair like slick back this is the brush i use and i would recommend asking for this in order to do super good slick back hair okay a few more things i have to add um i really been in into like pj sets it's just like so cute like i actually packed mine to wear here i just think it's really cute i don't know um you can get them from like brandy honestly or amazon also like clothing is just like a good way to go shoes is a good like some shoes aren't that expensive some are like last year I got I think the Michigan Dunks and they were like pretty up there like those were pretty expensive also another thing I just thought of is like bathing suits I always feel like I like don't think of that in the winter like for Christmas but summer comes up honestly so quick and for like good quality bathing suits like I never want to spend the money then I probably forgot so much stuff and probably could have added so much more onto this but um that's gonna be it for now video of the fact that you just stop hey guys we're back
but we are going to Mitchell's right now. I have a gift card actually from Hannah from my birthday. And I had salmon and green beans for dinner and rice. Um, I didn't film it, I just forgot. But then me and my mom and my dad played Clue because I dropped Hayden off at her friend's house for sleepover. So me and my mom are heading to um, Mitchell's. Cause I, I said if I won the game, oh Christmas lights. I said if I won the game then we can get Mitchell's and I ended up winning, so. We got the ice cream guys and look, um, Strongsville always decorates for Christmas and it's not my favorite decorations because I don't like colorful lights, but it's cute, whatever. Um, I got cookie dough, guys. I'll show you my ice cream when I get home. And then I have to start editing this vlog because I have to post it tomorrow because I have to stay on top of it for Vlogmas. Here's our Christmas decorations in our family room. This is our dad's stocking, my mom's. My brother Ethan, me the middle, my sister Hayden, my first dog Piper, and our oh second dog Rumor who's barking right now. And then we have our beautiful mantle. There's my stocking. And then our tree. I love our tree. It's so beautiful. But yeah, here's a little haul, a little tour because this is vlogmas, so we have to be festive. Time to eat my ice cream. Let's taste test. I got cookie dough, of course. Let's get some ice cream and cookie dough. Where am I eating? Come in a second. Mmm. Everything for Buddy. Oh, it's just so good. I recommend Mitchell's ice cream. Here's my recommendation. Sponsor me. All right, I'm about to actually not go to bed. I'm about to edit this video, but I'm ending this video right now. So I'm just gonna say day one of Vlogmas is over. I'm gonna edit this video right now. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but we'll see. And I'm gonna try to make every day interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my first attempt at day one of Vlogmas. Bye!